First semi-final in the Champion of Champions, O'Sullivan against Robertson in what looks like a classic. All level after 10 frames, this is now the decider. Commentary from Clive Everton One. and Stephen Hendry. Excellent long red from O'Sullivan. I think he's on the brown. Straight into the pack of reds here. This comes off, could be the game shot. Mm. Very surprised he refused that. But as I said, they are a good bunch of reds to go into from the Five. black. So if he gets level with the black here, he's got a great opportunity. That's perfect. Six. The middle red in between the black and pink, that's the one he wants to hit. What a time for a miscue. I don't think I've ever seen Ronnie Sullivan miscue. Amazing. I don't think he's done any great damage to his tip, though. And he's been lucky enough to leave everything safe. Apart from one. the speculative double. Well, Neil looks bad. please. The angle must be the angle the red came off the cushion. I don't think he was expecting it to go anywhere near the pocket. He had the snooker anyway. Neil Robertson won. He's played the snooker, but I shouldn't think he'll get an advantage from it. I think I'd have much rather played a shot where you know you're forcing Ronnie to play a shot of the bunch from tight under the bulk cushion. Then should Ronnie have hit the pack thick, it would have perhaps given Neil an opportunity. Snooker was a bit of a nothing shot there. Possible red, either to right middle or top right corner. Turn down, that's too difficult and too risky. In favour. An excellent safety. Foul and a miss. Neil Robertson, four. Not crucial, but an unnecessary four away. One. Couldn't get plum on a colour. Oh. He's not even trusted his cotton. <laughs> That's when the hours and hours of practice. Comes into Six. its own there. It's a sort of shot and straight blues to corner pockets that players spend hours practicing. All for moments like that. You can rely Seven. on it, rely on your technique under pressure. So maybe O'Sullivan's unnecessary four away may prove more significant than I originally thought. 13. 14. Mm, I was just about to say this could be 
That red could be the important shot in this frame and match. If Neil could have got nicely top side of the blue. He may have the slightest of angles. So lots of top spin. Touch your right-hand side off this right cushion and try and release even just a couple of reds just to keep the break going. Wonderful effort. And yeah, just there's just a couple of reds just in the open. Maybe another one at the top of the pack. Goes. Yeah, I think that red is closest to the pink spot. Pots to left middle, possibly right corner as well. He could decide to go into the five reds here off the pink. I might be against it myself, because I think if you get on that red that's at the top of the bunch, there's every chance you can open the reds. I think this is a risk. I think that was a risk, as it paid off. Twenty-six. Well, even if the left-hand red is possible to left corner, it's very tough queuing. I think the way Neil hits the ball, I think I'd rather be taking the one that's closest to the blue, to the yellow pocket. Struggle is in. Yeah, nicely on the pink. That could be the winning shot. When O'Sullivan failed to reach the bunch when he was snookered, it appeared that that was not a serious mistake. But Robertson is making it into one. He's just having a look, the red to the right, the pink. He's got a cannon that, he can't avoid it. And he's just taking extra care. Don't take your eye off the pot. Hmm. Not as played. 33. <coughs> So if it's red to left middle, you've just got to avoid any unwanted cannons on those three colours on the bulk end of the table, yellow, brown and black. Thirty-four. I'm still not out of the woods yet. He's making it difficult. I thought when he put that awkward red and landed on the pink, that it was virtually match over, but he needs another good positional shot here. Just avoid the brown. Mm, and the green. Didn't even see the green being a problem. How has he got to this stage from where he was 36. two shots ago? Forty four in front, but far from over the line. If I look back a few shots when he was playing that pink with the rest of Cannon already, red, if anything he probably just thought too much into it. It wasn't that difficult a shot. There's obviously massive pressure out there. He's taking this red on. This is oh, what a tough shot this is. And that's magnificent. It really is. 37. Under pressure, that was some pot. And again, applauded by his opponent. Ronnie tapped his thigh with his hand with that shot. As a snooker player, you knew how, you know how tough that shot was slowly across the table, dropping it in dead weight. One more pot required. Thirty-eight. 
51 in front. With only 51 on the table. 43. And that does surely seals O'Sullivan's fate. It's been a fine match. Both players played to a very high standard. Yay. Robertson's made a couple of centuries, but that was incidental. 50. Yeah, you definitely you would have thought when Ronnie went 5-4 up, he'd at least have one good chance to win the match. It didn't, it didn't come. Didn't really get an opportunity to win this match. A good opportunity, anyway. 57. 58. Robertson made a total clearance of 135 to equalise at 5 all. 63. 65. And he's on the way to. <coughs> Another big clearance to clinch the victory. 68. 72. Robertson won the Champion of Champions title once. He'll have his chance to win it again. 77. On Sunday, when he plays either Mark Allen or Judge Trump in the final. It's turning into a bit of a benefit for left-handers this tournament. So, with a clearance of 90, Neil Robertson completes a fine victory. He beats Romney O'Sullivan by six frames to five.